All right, are you inspired now? <laughs> I am. I am very inspired. I yes. mean, uh, it, uh, who's on their phone today? I mean, you should be out right. enjoying it. I mean, I spent a little bit of time on our patio out here. It was just nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 70s. Now we're talking about some low 60s. But again, I'm not complaining. Who's complaining about this? But just a little, uh, a little bit of, a, I guess, tidbit of information here. 63 for tomorrow. That means temperatures well below average. We should be in the upper 70s, low 80s for this time of year. So we're going to be about 16 degrees below if that does verify for tomorrow afternoon. And the last time we hit only a high of 63 about four weeks ago. So this is going to be a chill you're going to notice at least going back about a month ago. So that's it for the next 24 hours. That's going to be the biggest thing worth noticing. A substantial push of really cooler temperatures are going to be rotating in our direction, looking for the upstream over to uh, Saginaw, over to Warsaw and, and Wisconsin, UP and Michigan. Yes, we do have some colder temperatures bottled up to the north and even some frost advisories. But again, just to show you and to illustrate, this is part of a upper level low. This trough you're seeing that's dominating much of the eastern half of the U.S., including us across much of the Buckeye State. That's going to be the ongoing pattern for us. So unseasonably cool temperatures will continue for tomorrow afternoon right into Tuesday. Then a different story come Wednesday. But also it's going to bring north wind and another patch of cloud coverage. That's going to be dominating for us for tomorrow morning as well. So get prepared. For a cloudy start for your Monday, temperatures in the low to mid 50s. Then as we get closer to rush hour, we can exclude maybe an isolated shower or two. What's your national design right out with the forecast? This is 9 o'clock with a north breeze. Again, we, it could generate a brief shower or two due to Lake Erie and the effect of that. But that's about it. We'll call about a 5 to 10 percent chance of that. Then by lunchtime, you're going to need the longer sleeves all throughout the morning right into the early afternoon. We're looking at mid to upper 50s. It's supposed to be summer break for many of the kids out there, but we're going to be holding steady with fall like conditions. Temperatures continuing to only warm up into the low 60s around 3 and 4 o'clock, at least according to this model data. North wind will continue, then clearing out as we approach tomorrow night. And any radiational heat we did receive, that's going to quickly escape. And that's going to allow temperatures to eventually fall into the mid 40s around Tuesday morning, around daybreak. So a chilly start for Tuesday morning. Then a rebound is on by the afternoon, still holding below average upper 60s for Tuesday afternoon. Average high again, 16 to 79 degrees, low 80s, pretty seasonal for your Wednesday. Then we slowly rebound nicely into the upper 80s, possibly mid 80s around Friday. So again, that trough I was speaking of, that's dominating a good chunk of the Midwest and the eastern half of the U.S. Meanwhile, we have a ridge setting up in the southwest, some record high temperatures down in Arizona. That is eventually going to be rotating in our direction as we head deeper into midweek. High pressure dominating for Tuesday, bringing the seasonal temperatures for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Our next inbound storm system all the way for late Thursday into early Friday, bringing another shot of slightly cooler temperatures for the first part of your weekend plans. Here's your Medina Country Club 10 day outlook. Slight cool down for Saturday, upper 80s return by Sunday. Storm chances by next week. Lena. All right. Thanks, Andy.